The other item is that for a point of information, Rabbi wow. Tovia, being you brought up um, with the Chabadniks, um, Rabbi Kaduri, may he rest in peace, was very, very close to my family. In fact, my family is married to him. And when last year, when I was burying my brother in Haram in Uchot over there, David, please for the for, for the clarification of the listeners, to explain who Rabbi Kaduri is, real fast, real fast, please. Uh, Rabbi Kaduri is the greatest Kabbalist of this time, and I think Rabbi Tovi is more qualified to explain. But there is a YouTube going around about the greatest Kabbalist of our time, Rabbi Kaduri, died at the age of 105, had a secret letter that says he endorsed and accepted Jesus. Now, when I presented this to his grandson in Israel last year, they were furious, absolutely furious if such a thing could go around. And the comments, if anyone was to see the comments, they were atrocious, mm -hmm. horrible. The reason I'm thinking of this now is because Rabbi Tovia was mentioning uh, a certain other issue with another great uh, Rebbe of our time. I, um, with regard to Rabbi Kaduri, he was a, a very holy sage who died in the winter of 2006. His name was Rabbi Yitzchak Kaduri. He was born in Baghdad probably about 105 years earlier. Lived a very long time. He, we're not even exactly sure of his age. He, he may have lived as long as like 118 years. He died very old. I had the opportunity to meet him. And the reason I, I seem sullen, and it would to say that he uh, authored a Christian text that should not be open until he died. That would be like saying that Elie Wiesel is really a Holocaust denier. That would be like saying that Mahmoud Abbas is the chief rabbi of Israel. It's just so offensive, it's so revolting. It reminds me, this revisionism reminds me of a documentary. I think it's a 10 hour documentary called Shoah. And in the documentary, it, 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 if you have, if you, some people just can't take studying about the Holocaust. It's just too painful. But there is a segment there where the the folks were the film people are filming interview Polish peasants from different towns where Jews were taken and executed, and they claimed that the Jews, as they were being taken to their death, accepted Jesus and Mary. Mm. There are Christians that say, I'm not kidding, that in Auschwitz, in the, in, in the gas chamber, and I just heard this about a week ago from a Christian, that in the gas chamber, an angel went from person to person in the gas chamber, preaching the gospel, and the Jews in the gas chamber accepted Jesus as the Lord and Savior. So to say that Elie Wiesel, or uh, to say that to say that he was a Holocaust denier, that is so offensive. Rabbi Kaduri was a staunch opponent. I, I don't even know the words to use. That's like saying like, that's like saying that Moses was a Hindu. God mm -hmm. forgive me for saying that. I mean, that's just, just repulsive. I have spoken to the family and to the students of Rabbi Kaduri. They don't know what letter they're talking about. They have no clue what they're talking about. Of course, People are very offended by this. Mm -hmm. People are just like people are offended by Holocaust denial. Why are we offended by Holocaust denial? Because it it shatters a legacy. And it's just disgusting. It's repulsive. You know, there's and another issue there that I just thought of too, Rabbi. Um, you know, in the New Testament, it says anybody who denies me before man, he will be denied before my father in heaven. That's what Jesus said. And so in, in essence, if Rabbi Kaduri knew this while he was alive and refused to tell anybody and supposedly left it's, the note, it's nonsense. It just doesn't. It's, you know, it's let's nonsense. just drop it because yeah. it, it's just, it's just, it is, um, it is, it is vomit. It really is. Mm -hmm. It's, it, it, it's very repulsive. It's very, very offensive. It's very offensive. Um, when people say those who died in the Holocaust accepted Jesus at the last right. moment, it is really, really offensive. So sure. let's just move on because yes, everybody has like a level of what they can handle. Rabbi Kaduri, I knew Rabbi Kaduri. I wasn't his closest disciple, 
but I knew him. Okay. He was a staunch opponent of Christian teachings. He was a staunch opponent of missionary activity in the land of Israel. He, he would shake when he was told about the missionary groups that came to Israel to convert Jews to Christianity. He was one of the greatest supporters of, of, of rabbis who devoted their lives to opposing Christian missionary activity. Mm-hmm. Uh, you, I mean, so again, to even, you know, go beyond that is to lend, I mean, it just to me, maybe someone else has a lot more patience mm-hmm. than I do. It's very offensive stuff. And sure, people sure. are going to feel hurt. Let's move on to, what was his other question? Um, oh, uh, you know, when people ask me, why would, you know, why would Jesus do anything? First, I want to say something about the term J.C., a lot of people don't want to say Jesus, which is understandable. Exodus, lo yishon al picha. People don't want to say the name of another, a founder of another religion. I understand that, but actually, I say to everyone, just don't say JC if that's how you feel, because JC is an acronym for Jesus Christ. So you're actually saying you're calling him the Messiah. It's better to say Jesus than J say JC. JC is a very bad idea, okay? Because JC. I know it's not intended, but I hear my uh, my brothers and sisters, uh, whether they're Jewish or B'nai Noach, B'nai Noach, B'nai Noach uh, Noachides, referring to him as JC because they don't want to say Jesus. Stop that. I love you, but stop that right. kind of nonsense because you are saying JC. You're saying Jesus the Messiah. That's what you're saying. You don't want to say JC. Don't do that, okay? Very good. I mean, just... Realize what you're doing. It's better to say Jesus than say JC. Sure. If you if you feel that you don't want to, and that's great, but don't don't say that. Find something else. Uh, next. next.